Hello friends, in this session I am going to explain you about how to manage your Ansible configuration files. Before playing with Ansible automation, we should have a knowledge of Ansible configuration files like where it is located, what is the purpose of it and how to manage it. This is a continuation of our Ansible tutorial videos. Related links and documents are mentioned in the description below. Refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this session much better from basics. Keep watching this video till the end. If you didn't subscribe to our channel Lanetti Guide Tutorials, do subscribe now and click nearby bell icon to get the updates immediately. Let's get started. This is my Ansible server node 1. Let me query the list of files related to Ansible. So you have got this many Ansible related files. The configuration files are located under IETC. This is the directory and where you could see the ansible.cfg file. This is the default configuration file of Ansible and the inventory file and the roles directory. And these are the binaries to be used by Ansible. Default configuration of Ansible is more sufficient for us, but on some cases we may need to change the configuration file to suit our requirement. So the default configuration file of Ansible is ansible.cfg under slash etc slash ansible directory. Just have a look of this file. You have some default values like inventory, file location, library, modules, pseudo password, pseudo users and remote port to be used. Even if you go little bit down you could see many other parameters. Also the instructions are given clearly. By default these are commented. If you wanted to change the default behavior of any of these parameters just uncomment and change the default values. Let me change some value and show you how it works. By default it finds the inventory file in this location. So inventory is a file where we define all our hosts to be managed by Ansible and we have already explained to you about the inventory file in the inventory management session. Please go through that. Before making any changes let me show you my default inventory file. Where I have mentioned only one client that is node 2. Let me run an Ansible add up command. Now to get the uptime of a client node 2 without changing the config file. So this is the basic command we use to run some basic operation. So Ansible is the command and all defines that this operation should be performed in all the host mentioned in the inventory file. Hyphen M to specify the module that what are you going to perform. Here I use a module called shell. Through that I pass an argument to get the value of uptime of each host mentioned in the inventory host file. So refer our previous videos to know more about Ansible add hoc commands and Ansible playbooks. I just hit enter. So we have got the uptime output of host only for node 2 which was mentioned in the default inventory file. I have created a, another inventory file that is root my host with two clients node 1 and node 2. Let's do a change in ansible.cfg file to find this inventory file rather than the default inventory file. Uncommand the inventory parameter and change the value save and exit from here and rerun the same ansible add up command
this time we have got the uptime for two nodes node 1 and node 2 which means the ansible has used the new inventory file that is root my host so this is how you can change the default values in the ansible config file as per your requirement also we have an options to override these parameters without changing the config file to show that i just changing back the ansible.cfg to original state So how do I override these default values without touching the config file? Just take a help of Ansible command where you could see many options. You can use these options to override the parameters using command line. Let's take the same example that to override the inventory file. Here I am going to use hyphen i option in the command to specify the host inventory file manually. For this example, I have created another two inventory files. One is host name 1 where I have mentioned only one node that is node 1. And I have another inventory file that is host name 2 where I have mentioned only node 2. So how do I override this inventory file? So simple, use the same command with hyphen i option space the inventory file hostname1 if I run this command this ansible automation will perform only on the host which are mentioned in this inventory file which means I would get an uptime value of node 1 perfect now I am going to use for the second inventory file yes I have got the uptime for node 2 so you have got the difference so this command looks the host from this inventory file and this command finds the host from this inventory file same way you can use these options as per your requirement to override the default values of ansible.cfg file the next topic is how to create a multiple ansible configuration file and why it is required to have multiple configuration file ansible has the flexibility to have a multiple configuration file because changing the single configuration file for every time is not required depending on the environment for example we may have a database servers application servers web servers and many each will have a different users different host inventory file so when you perform some automation using ansible only for database hosted servers then you may need to change the ansible.cfg accordingly again if you want to do some automation on application server again you need to change the same config file this is quite challenging and confusing one. so create a dedicated directory for each environment and store the record files under each directory for example, if you have a database servers, you can create a directory called database slash the configuration file and you can have a inventory file something like that under this database directory. Similarly, you can create a directory for web server and for application server. Now the question is, if I run an ansible add hoc command or ansible playbook, which config file will be taken? because I have a different ansible.cfg files and if you wanted to perform only for database servers how do I make the changes if you open the default ansible configuration file just have a look of these first these lines ansible will find the configuration file whichever it finds first in this order first it will search for the variable ansible underscore config is set or not if not then it will start find on your current directory again if it is not present then it will go to your home directory for hidden ansible.cfg and if nothing is present then at last it will use the default ansible.cfg file let me show you this one by one exit from here declare a variable
I don't have any file. I just copy the default one. Again, I'm in the current directory. Here also I'm copying the same. This is my home directory, hence I am going to copy the ansible.cfg as a hidden file. And I just go to mount as this is my working directory while running a ansible playbook or ansible add up command so here too i copy the same file if you run an ansible add up command or ansible playbook it will first read ansible underscore config variable if it is present then it will use that ansible configuration file if not it will go to your current working directory mnt and it will find ansible.cfg if it is present then it will use that ansible configuration file if not again it will go to your home directory to find whether you have any hidden file for ansible.cfg if nothing is present it will use the default ansible.cfg let me run this but how do you know which ansible.cfg file has used because you have many ansible.cfg in different directories so what you have to do is at the end of this command use a hyphen v so it is using the config file as temp ansible.cfg because it has got the ansible underscore config variable Yes, it has been set. Hence, it has used the temp ansible.cfg as its configuration file. Let me remove this. Again, rerun the same ansible command with the hyphen v option. This time it has used slash mnt ansible.cfg because it didn't find the variable ansible underscore config. Hence it has started to check in your current directory. So it has used the mnt ansible.cfg. Let me remove this too. Again rerun the command. Now this time it will go to your home directory and it will find the hidden file ansible.cfg. Let me remove this. Again, rerun the same command. Finally, this time it has used the default file because it has not got any other file from any of these location or the variable. So, if you have a dedicated directory for your environment, you can create an ansible.cfg file. Also, you can have a different host file as like this create a directory slash database and have your ansible.cfg and db host and go to this directory and run your ansible add a command or ansible playbook to do the automation on your database servers with this ansible.cfg configuration file so this is how you can have a multiple configuration file so keep practicing and have fun thank you how did you feel is it helpful Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below. Hit like button, share with your friends about us, subscribe our channel to get further updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.